Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am continuing with the MCQs on Python. So today's discussion is on Python lists and tuples MCQs. So first one, which of these is the wrong description of a list in Python? So the options are, a list is a collection of data in which the order is preserved. It's a true statement. A list can contain duplicate elements. That is also a true statement. A list element can be modified. So this is also a true statement. So none of these statements are wrong. So none is the right answer. Which of the following will return the name CMRIT from the following list? So L1 equal to CMR, L1 equal to L2, sorry, L1 of 0 equal to CMR, L1 of 1 is CMR set and so L1 of 2 is CMRIT. So here and in reverse direction also we need to verify because here one of them is positive index and the other one is negative index. So we need to check with reverse direction also. So in forward direction indexing begins from 0. Whereas in reverse direction indexing begins from minus 1. So this is minus 1, this is minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. So that means both A and B are right answers. Which of the following will create a list? So the first one is using a list constructor we are creating an empty list. And the second one is we are directly initializing an empty list. In third one is we are creating a list with elements initialized to 1, 2, 3. So all these three are correct. Which of the following will return the length of the list L1? So the correct answer is uh, the third one that is LEN of L1. Which of the following is the correct way to add the number 6 to L1? Initially L1 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So initially the list is containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements and we are supposed to add the number 6 to L1. So in the first one we are appending 6 where it gets inserted in the last. In the second one we are inserting 6 where it is inserted at index 3. So in third one we are inserting at index 6 the element 6. So both A and B are correct. Which method is used to delete an element from a list with the element name specified? So we have to specify element name rather than the index. So it is remove method. Which of the following is the correct way to delete the number 3 from L1 where L1 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So in this case, so here L1 of 2 colon 3 we are just making it empty which is nothing but we are removing this 3. Next del of L1 of 2 that is index 2 element should be deleted which is again 3. Next L1 dot remove of 3 we are specifying the item name that is also removing 3. So all these will be performing the same. Consider the following nested list L1 equal to and then which of the following returns R in CMRIT. So in this case it's a nested list. So this 5 represents L1 of 0 and next list represents L1 of uh, 1. So in that list we are supposed to remove R in CMRIT. So L1 of 1 again in that we have this 3.14 which is at index 0, next 10 again at index 1 and next we again have a list which is at index 2. So that means L1 of 1 is a list in that again 2 is another list. Again in that we have CMRIT at index 1. So this means and again within that CMRIT R is at index 2. So this one option C is the correct answer. So L1 equal to CMR given, which of the following will add I and T to the end of L1 so that L1 becomes this CMR item. So in this case, 
here L1 plus IT. So to the existing list we are trying to concatenate IT elements. This one also will do. Next we are performing the IT addition after the length. This one also will perform this uh, concatenation. Next L1 plus IT. So we are adding another list. So we are adding another list to an existing list. So all these options will be performing this. Next L1 equal to 1, 2, 5, 6. Which of the following will make L1 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this case, so the first one 2 colon 2. That means at index 2 we are trying to add this 3, 4. This is correct. Next L1 of 2 to 4 equal to 3 comma 4. That means uh, we are overriding this. In this case, we are trying to override. That's not correct. So when this is not correct, obviously both A and B cannot be correct. So the first one. Which of the following method can be used to add more than one element to an existing list? So more than one element we will be doing with extend. Append will add only single element. What is the output of the following? L1 equal to i exponential 2 for i in range of 5 print of L1. So that means we are using the exponential operator. So that means range is from 0 to 4. So 0 power 2. Next 1 power 2. Next 2 power 2. Next 3 power 2. Next 4 power 2. So 5 is not inclusive because it is the end value. So it is B. Which of the following statement is used to create an empty list? So this is not a list at all. It is a string actually. And if you are writing empty in double quotes, that becomes a string element added. So this is not the assignment operator. This is the equal to, double equal to, which indicates the equality check. So this last one is the correct answer because that is the way how we initialize an empty list. What is the output of the following? So L1 is given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and L2 is L1 of minus 5 to 3. So in reverse direction we are seeing and then we are trying to print length of L2. So minus 5 means, so from reverse direction it begins with minus 1. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. That is from 2 onwards. And end value is given as plus 3. That is in forward direction 0, 1, 2, 3. That means 3 will not be inclusive. I mean index 3 is the end value so it will not be inclusive. So in this case only 2 elements are being added. That is 2 and 3 will be added to L2. So whose length will be 2? What is the output of the following? Again the same list. L2 equal to L1 of 4 colon minus 5. And step is given as minus 2. So that is start value is index 4 which is the element 5. And end value is minus 5. That is from 6 if we take minus 5 that is 2. That is from 2 to 4. That is from 2 to 4. And with a step of minus 2. And start is from 4. So this 4 will be added to L2. And with a step of minus 2, this 2 will be added to L2. So in this case, it is going to be 2. What is the output of the following? So again same L1, L2 equal to L1 of 5 colon 2. So when we have start greater than end, step should be negative. And if step is not specified, the default step value is plus 1. So in this case, this uh, will not be executed. So L2 becomes an empty list. What is the output of the following? So L1 equal to 9247 print L1 of colon colon minus 3. So colon colon when we are using that represents we are performing the reversal and that too with minus 3 means every third element. We are asking for displaying every third element. That means 
in reverse first 7 will be displayed and next third element in reverse that is 9 so 7 and 9 will be displayed what is the output of the following l1 equal to 1 to 3 print l1 into 2 that means we are performing the two times of l1 we are performing two times of l1 which becomes this one What is the output of the following? L1 equal to list of hello. So we are making a list with containing the characters hello and then we are printing this L1. So it becomes a list of characters. So this one. What is the output of the following? L1 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Print L1 dot index of 2, comma 2. That means we are asking it to return index of element 2 that begins from index 2 onwards. So, index 2 is 3. So, from index 2 onwards, we don't have any element containing 2. So, it is going to return error. Which of this is the wrong description of a tuple in Python? A tuple is a collection of data in which the order is preserved. It's a true statement. A tuple can contain duplicate elements. It's a true statement. A tuple element can be modified. This is the false statement. T equal to CMR. Which of the following replaces the third element R with K? So, the point to be noted here is tuples are immutable, which indicates we cannot modify the tuple elements. So, none of these can be correct statements or none. Which of the following is used to create a tuple with single element? So, the first one, even though we are using parentheses, that doesn't represent a tuple, it treat T as a string only. Because parentheses can be used along with any expression. So, in this case, the first option will be treating T as string. So, in second case, we are using comma. When we are using comma, if it was a normal string, we will not be using comma outside the string. So, this parenthesis now will be treated to be a tuple. So, option B is the correct way of representing. So, when we have only single element to be added to a tuple, then we need to append comma. X, Y, Z equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and the here we are using the slicing technique that is 1, end is not specified that means up to the last element and step is 3. What is the value of z in the above assignment? So in this case x will be having the value 2 because start value is given as 1 and step is given as 3. So y will be having a step of 3 that is 5 and z will be having again a step of 3 that is 8. So in this case Z value will be 8. A equal to 3, B equal to 4. What is the result of this statement? A comma B equal to B comma A of colon colon minus 1. So generally colon colon minus 1 indicates reverse. But again here we are not using same A comma B. We are using B comma A. That is reverse of reverse. Which is nothing but something like transpose of transpose which becomes the original itself. So, in this case, the values will not be altered. So, it will be option D. That is, both A and B values will be same. 